Right, we're here at the launch of Motorola Atrix uh, in KL. Apparently in Malaysia, it's one of the first markets uh, in Asia. In, in fact, it's first in Southeast Asia. So, uh, as you can see here, it's a demo unit of the Atrix. And that's how it looks like in uh, real life. There's a camera here, it's 5 megapixels. Uh, it shows HD the, together with the LED flash. Okay. Right. You can see the thickness over here. It's priced at one nine nine nine. Okay. As you can see over here, this is what we call a lab dock. Um, all you need to do is literally you dock it into. Right. As you can see over here. Okay. It's a. That's all you have to do. Right. And it shifts straight away to phone mode. The moment you plug it in, it works with Atrix and so And load straight away to the lab dock. As you can see over here. Went to standby mode. Okay, there we are. It went to standby mode. So as you can see over here, it's like a, it, it resembles a Mac interface where most of your icons, your applications are actually at the bottom. Uh, it features a full-fledged Mozilla Firefox browser. You can have a full uh, browsing experience. It's not just a mobile experience. As you can see here, it's PC.com's uh, website. Scrolling down, it supports Flash and all that because it runs on Android 2.2. Uh, as we understand, it's upgradable to 2.3. And here we are, you can see PC.com Malaysia on Facebook. At the same time, you can actually run applications uh, on another window. You can see here is what we call a mobile view. And this is of course the full uh, laptop view, so to speak where you have your standard Android buttons over here, your menu, home, back, and search buttons. Now we have a look at whatever applications that they have. And you have the standard Gmail, Google search, everything you would find on a normal Android platform. And then to scroll up and down, actually you use the touchpad over here, right? And up and down, it's actually not, oops. It's not touch screen, this is not touch screen. Right, but uh, you can use it just like a normal laptop. So let's have a look at NFS Shift. Uh, do keep in mind that we are having multiple applications open right here. We have the mobile view on, we have multiple uh, websites over here. So it's probably going to lag a little bit. And here's what's so cool about it. You can actually play something over here, let's say Angry Birds. Or uh, if, if Cut the Rope on Android ever comes on, you can ever play it here. And at the same time, you can you know, open a different window uh, for Firefox or your office and all that. So let's see how this runs. Okay, how do I... Okay, let's just... So you can see over here is NFS Shift. As I understand it, uh, certain games, most games, in fact, don't support uh, you know the Atrix in a sense that you can't use your keypads to. You know, you can't really use your keypads to play. You can, but as you can see, you know, it's a little uh, slow to respond. Um, the only realistic, the only realistic way is to you know play it this way and you know, yeah. So uh, you probably look a bit funny holding this big laptop and you know turning it left and right but I guess that's the whole point of buying an Atrix. You can move it to full screen as you can see over here and you're gonna turn and oh someone's calling who's calling <laughs> and you can also pick it up over here you can ignore um, okay, number censored for privacy purposes <laughs> uh, you can pick it up uh, you can you can ignore the call you can pick it up and uh, that's pretty much what can you do. Alright, so uh, let's let's just escape this game. Um, and you can go over to back to the windowed view. Uh, everything you can do your, on your handphone, you can do it here. And most things which you want to do on your laptop, you can do it in a bigger screen, uh, in a different view. So 
Uh, this is the Atrix. The dock is ridiculously thin. If you can see over here, it's how thin it is on my fingers. You can close it over here. Really, really, really thin. And the moment you close this, it actually shifts over to your handphone. So it's like turning on a uh, standby mode or something like that. Right, and uh, they have a few docks available, as I understand. This is the car dock. Uh, you can you can plug this into the car uh, for a battery. And, and you have the HD multimedia dock, which I will show you in a short while. Uh, prices are as such: it's 439 ringgit for the multimedia dock. Uh, they also bun uh, sell together a Bluetooth wireless keyboard going for 299 ringgit. Alright, and so now we are going to have a look at the HD Multimedia Dock. Um, she's going to help us to have a look. So what we have here, like over here, right? This is what we call the HD Multimedia Dock, yes. right? Behind here, there's three USB slots where you can slot your wired um, keyboard, mouse, and also your USB thumb drive. Mm. This is the HDMI cable where you connect it to your TV or your desktop. Right, so you have a, you have three uh, USB slots over here. You have a HDMI mini, and uh, that's the power cable, and that's the sound cable which you can you know plug into your speakers or whatnot. Yep. And now I'm gonna plug in my Atrix here. Then I'll choose Entertainment Center. Alright, so this this all is like a built-in application. Like the moment you slot in your Atrix, it's gonna load this Entertainment Center. Yes. Alright, and over here, all you see are the controls, and yep. it's actually the same and as the remote the control. control. Alright, you can you can still touch this, and it will have the same effect. Yep. And it will load everything to the TV. There's music, pictures, videos, and we can use the webtop as well. Alright, so let's have a look at the video maybe. Video. Yeah. Let's see, Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, it's quite clear actually. Mm -hmm. Of course, the clarity depends on the source video. Yeah. Ah, okay. This plays up to how big? Full HD? 720. Up to 720p. <laughs> okay. Alright, then let's have a look at the. Uh, you, I presume you can show videos and music exactly the same way, right? Yep. Alright, then maybe you can have a look at the web top thingy. Web top. Start web top. Now, this is pretty interesting. Uh, just now I showed you the lab dock. This is actually the exact same OS, just that now it's plugged into the uh, TV. And also, of course, you can use this with your mouse, your your keyboard, or wired, or you, know, you can connect it, connect it via Bluetooth as well. So you can do this at home, you can connect it to your monitor as well, I presume? Yes. Mm, okay. As long as it has a HDMI connection. Yep. Alright. And you can use it exactly the same way as you use a laptop. Yep. Alright, so that's the HD Multimedia Dock. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.